All right, everybody, we have got our paperwork in hand. We have 41,760 pounds of product here. We are inside their little warehouse. Um, you back, actually back in and pull in and you load on the scale. Pull the window down, see if y'all can see better. There we go. You can see I'm actually inside the little warehouse. But yep, she all worked out good. You know what I guess I probably should do? Which I forgot here, you know. And I forgot. You ever forget? It happened to me. Should probably do a vehicle inspection here. New one. Four, eight, nine, four. Doot, doot. Doot, doot, doot. Submit. Yes, we're good. Because I actually um, wink, wink, I picked up this preloaded trailer here, here inside. So we've got all this done now. I just gotta, like always, y'all know I like to do my computer, which really st stunk with me having to go home all the way back from Pearland, Texas, off the last load that I ran for my driver. Um, yes, leaving now. I actually had 1200 deadhead miles. That hurt bad. I mean, that hurt my feelings. Okay, trip three is active. I re already reset my trips for the mileage and fuel mileage because I'm tracking my fuel mileage and all that on all my loads. I believe my phone is probably be close to charge, so let's get undo that but guy said that i actually could have came in early and look at this dip this is one huge freaking dip right here i mean there is no sense in having because i didn't realize it was that bad coming in um so i came in i have to admit i came in a little little hotter than what i should have because I couldn't really tell it was that bad, but man, when I hit it, everything come flying off overhead, fell down on my head. I mean, you talk about one, one of them like kaboomy things. Georgia 53. But yeah, um, this load, it used to deliver the very next day in Pearland, Texas, basically just south of Houston. But because of the couple problems that we've had, they've moved it to now. It's a freaking two days on it, like I mentioned before. So that kind of blows. Turn left at the traffic light. So thank you, light, for staying green until I got up here. So now I've got an extra day. So since I've started my clock from here, it's only 800 mile run. So technically I only had to do 400 miles a day, do 400 miles a day, do 400 miles tomorrow, and then park. I'll actually stay at the TA in Baytown. Um, I, the issue with my rear light back there in the back, I'm um, on a cab extender. I saw some different lights um, they're actually on LED strip. The same same type as that right there. There's on the LED strip that's flexible. So I ordered those. Those will actually be delivered to the Amazon locker box at Baytown. Um, so they'll be there when I get there in the morning or Wednesday morning. Or they'll show up sometime Wednesday. While I'm there, spending Wednesday night there. So I'll stop there. Then I'll get up Thursday morning, go and deliver. Um, that covers that but I'll have time to, you know, change those out, put those on, but there's no need of me rushing. Um, so I'm probably just going south of Hattiesburg, stay there tonight. Um, no sense in really pushing it. I mean, I'll get fuel in Meridian. It says I'll get to Meridian at 3.17 this afternoon. It's 12.06, 12.07 now, but when I cross over in Alabama, you know, we, we lose, we go back an hour or so. But 266 miles of Meridian, I'll get fuel there at TA, and then I'll just cruise on down there to Hattiesburg, and then I'll just, I'll just park, park for the night. Um, I've got plenty of food, <clears throat> everything else on the truck. So I don't need to stop at a truck stop. 
I'm not one of those that I feel the need that I have to stop at a truck stop so I can have, you know, drink, coffee, do walkabouts and things like that. Because I know I've got food, drink in my fridge. Um, I always try to keep that. Plus, I mean, you can't really tell because of all my stuff, but we got Starbucks, we got Propels, we got sparkling ice waters. We got a whole case of Deer Park water over there underneath that side over there. So I have plenty of drink on the truck, plenty of food on the truck too. I've got Jack Daniels barbecue. I've got chicken salad. I've got lots of microwavable meals. I've got grits. I've got oatmeal. So I've got plenty of food. So we're good to go. But these are the things that, you know, you always think about, I always try to run my day out, but Hammond is a cluster duck trying to get into Hammond trying to find a parking spot that's not paid. I don't have to push it. So why push it to Hammond? Now granted, I can, I can go all the way to probably close to, well, I can make it into Texas and stop into Texas, but I would catch Baton Rouge rush hour. I don't want to deal with Baton Rouge. I hate dealing with Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge rush hour sucks. So, you know, just stop short. I'll just stop short. I'll just get up at like four in the morning. I can get going at four in the morning and bam, but be rolling right on through and I'm good to go. Um, I'll get through Baton Rouge by 630 and we're good to go if I stop where I'm planning on stopping at a parking spot. It's not a rest there. It's just a parking, a truck parking. Um, so I get up there, leave, get through Baton Rouge by 6.30, and then we're good to go. I'll be in Texas, you know, before lunch. Then I've got the rest of the day to chill. So that's how I like to run things, y'all. Normally, I'll run wide open, but since I know for a fact I cannot deliver this load tomorrow, there's no need in me pushing it. No need in me pushing it because I already know I can't deliver it. It's already got a scheduled date, so do... do just just take your time and chill y'all anyway we hope everybody's driving safe we hope everybody's having them a good safe blessed day and i'm gonna chill on out of here y'all peace out checked in I'm coming down to the scale house to scale in then I get to go back into the staging area parking staging area luckily these guys right here are checking in so I've already checked in so I can just pull straight up on the scale 
because I'm going to beat that one driver before he walks back up to his truck. But see, with two of them right here, see how they jack it up? They're side by side. So now I've got to fight to wiggle it in to get up on this scale. This is kind of freaking jacked up and stupid. But they're parked like that. Turn right. I'm hoping I can get her to track in time. my gosh am I gonna make it oh just barely y'all can't see my drive tire or the trailer tires but I missed the rail by about an inch I, this is no exaggeration about an inch Whew. all right I gotta go scale in I'll be right back Never ran to the no man, I still go, go, go. 